Yorkman has reacted well. We're at two all in the second set. 15 love. Ralph has been serving and moving very well so far and, and volleying exceedingly well behind the first serve. Ball. Thirty love. Well, the pressure that Rafter has continually put on the Bjorkman second serve beginning to tell as Bjorkman tried for something a bit too much there. Sixth Wimbledon for Bjorkman this year, and his best performance going to the fourth round in '94. Thirteen forty. Well, this was a great chipped backhand return from Pat Rafter at full stretch, able still to get the ball down low. So Bjorkman unable to dig it out. Deuce. Advantage Bjorkman. There's been a few close calls in the last couple of games. Kim Craven uh, overruling a couple of times. Bjorkman leads three games to two, second set. First set, Raft. So Bjorkman surviving a break point in the fifth game. He lost his serve at exactly the same time in the first set. But let's have a look now at this number two seed from Australia, Pat Rafter, 26 years of age. Best result uh, at Wimbledon, the fourth round in 96 and 98. You may think that being a natural seven volleyer, he should have done better here. And of course, a double winner at the US, 97 and 98. And a semi-finalist at the French being uh, a surprising achievement with the way that he plays the serve and volley. He's uh, confounded a lot of people that said that he could never serve and volley well on the clay. And as uh, you can tell by all the cat calls and wolf whistles as he takes off Time. his jumper. He's pretty popular. So it's been a thoroughly entertaining match so far. Bjorkman has been flashing some returns past Rafter, but Rafter keeps charging towards the net all the time, and it's paid dividends so far.
15 love. Well, the first time we've seen Jonas Bjorkman trying a one-handed topspin backhand today. Normally, of course, a two-hander. Love. Well, a man as quick as Rafter making it look quite a bit easier than perhaps it was. Thirty fifteen. really doing nothing special with these volleys just blocking them back deep into the court and covering the net saying pass me if you can game rafter three games all second set Bjorkman so far unable to get a break point on the rafter serve and it's not that he hasn't been returning well he has been but you could say it's been a little bit too patchy he flashes one or two and then can't flash another one to get to the break points Fifteen love. One of the few lobs that Rafter hasn't been able to get up over Bjorkman. Pat Rafter, a very, very accomplished lobber. Let for service. Well, Pat Rafter emulating Jonas Bjorkman moving in behind that return, smacking it down the line. Let for service. Thirty fifteen. After not sure about on this ace, it's Bjorkman's first, and by the looks of it, it shouldn't have been. Fifteen. 
out. 40, 30. Will Bjorkman just saying thank you to Kim Craven in the chair. Rafter having a word. With the lines lady that didn't call the ball. There she is. Bjorkman leads four games to three. Second set, first set, Rafter. Well, Bjorkman and, and Rafter are playing doubles here at this year's championships and are, are regular doubles partners on the tour. Uh, they're still in the, the uh, doubles event, seeded three this week, and uh, defeating Marius Barnard and Brent Hagarth in five sets yesterday. Peter, um, you played Johnny Mack a few times. Uh, not easy uh, playing your doubles partner. No, it's not easy because they will have practiced together so often and know each other well. And well, it's it's difficult really when you're on the same side one day and the next side you're on the other side of the net. But luckily both of these players are are veterans. They've been on the tour for several years and they understand that the most important thing here is just to focus on that little yellow ball. And I think they both understand how to do that right now. The problem now for well, Jonas Bjorkman, in fact, has gotten himself back into this match. The first set was entirely Pat Rafter, and he was on top of his game. And Bjorkman has steeled himself in the last few games and is now in a great position to break. Fifteen well, Rafter on those short balls has gone down the middle a couple of times, and every time he's done that, Rafter has uh, gone the other way, much like a, a penalty shootout. At that time, uh, Bjorkman shown that he's learned from it and held his ground. Thirty love. Well, Bjorkman perhaps should stick to two hands on those shots. He's tried the one-hander twice and been well out both times. Love. Well, very nicely played by Pat Rafter. Seeing that Bjorkman was coming in behind the return, opting to play just a, a soft touch volley that landed right at Bjorkman's feet. Oh. Game Rafter. New balls, please. New balls. <laughs> Four games all, second set.